So hello everybody, I'm Jim the Hippie Redneck Geek and we're out here starting week five on uh, rebuilding the deck. So what we have is just this much decking here left to complete on this part of the deck. Now we still do have all that over there to do. We still have to take and get in the, there and dig and do where the hot tub's gonna go. We gotta move the trailer get rid of his stump and get the hot tub over here in place. But we're going to be working starting here, starting here today from here, and then we'll take work on as as we get to finish this here, then we'll start working heading in that direction over there. So I've forgotten to put in this end board here. So uh, we just paint quickly put that in place here. And uh, now Nick's going to be putting on the uh, joist tape here. Uh, so, yeah, we completely forgot about at, putting this board in place here. Um, I've got to also do it to those ends of those boards as well, uh, but the, the, we'll get to them later on. But yeah, I need to get this end board in here because uh, this is what our uh, this is what we're going to be connecting the um, oh the deck rail uh, post to. It's going to be connecting to. Uh, this uh, this board here and then we'll have a trim board that goes around in between all the deck uh, deck joist I'm um, deck uh, the deck rail posts so this is uh, putting on the tape here for this this piece here of the um, uh, the the I don't know what you call this, the outer railing, I don't know what you call it here. I mean, uh, outer joist, I don't know. I have no idea what all, half these technical terms are for these parts, but uh, this is what we're going to take and do for uh, for this area here. I had just forgotten to put it in, and I said, oh, we're getting close to putting this in here for the decking. We need to get that board in place here. So that's what we're doing here first before we can continue on with any more deck. So this is um, Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, I think it is, when we started here. I, we didn't get started Sunday in the, uh, in the morning like we normally do. Um, I don't remember why. I think we had, um, oh hell, it doesn't matter why. Um, I think it was, uh, I was just too tired, too worn out to go out and uh, actually do anything. So we start here on Sunday evening here uh, and uh, we've got just over four foot or right at four foot uh, of decking here left to do on this 20 by 20 piece here of, of the deck here and uh, so we've got some some cut boards that are uh, that I'm piecing in here to uh, get uh, to start off the edge here before we can run out the other ones and he's uh, laying out the laying out new ones there and marking them and then uh, handing them over to me to cut the ends of them here. So I'm us I'm trying to stay one row ahead of him uh, where all possible here. So I've already got another another board set up and ready to go for the next one here and and uh, he gets that board in place uh, so I can uh, so we can get it cut and everything and mark, uh, put in place. And then uh, say I'm already taking, grabbing another board and taking, yeah, that, okay, now we're four, now we have four foot left to go here. That, because that last roll was not quite, uh, was was right on the end of, uh, at, at the corner where, where it uh, started coming together on the 45 there. So now we're cutting at 45s on the ends here. Uh, so he'll lay the board down reach down and mark it and take and bring it up hand it to me flip it over and they can take, put it back in place and uh, get it laid down so we get uh, I don't know three or four rows here uh, stood up here on uh, Sunday evening and uh, uh, get them ready to go we had a little warp we had a warp, that board was warped a little bit so we had to use a board to to kind of uh, pry against it to take, get it into place a little bit of warpage here so um, we get uh, I 
of thing here. We got uh, this here, I'm going to take a cut, cut a piece on the other end uh, for this in here. Uh, I don't remember, but uh, exactly everything here. Uh, this is now almost a week ago, so <laughs> I barely remember any measures. So actually, I'm measuring out here, make sure that we uh, that we are actually uh, running uh, square here. So we take put down a, a real quick uh, string line here, just to make sure that we're uh, that that we're uh, not work dealing with any bow or anything here. So uh, just real quick, like to make sure that uh, we're that we're sticking holding straight here. Um, and then he goes and puts down all the. Like, yeah, I'm actually over there taking looking at the lumber for some reason. I don't remember what I'm looking at it for. Maybe I'm. Oh, I'm just trying to figure out. I have no idea what I was doing over there. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Um, so this uh, we finish out the this these these rows right here on Sunday evening, and uh, I think this is as far as we get here Sunday evening here, uh, and. Uh, he runs out of uh, screws in that uh, pail that he had there. Runs out of screws here in a second. We have to open up the new the uh, new pail of screws that's laying there in the center of the deck there. And uh, these are all two and a half inch number tens. Yeah, number ten two and a half inch deck mates, I believe, is what they are. So, yeah, he can't get it open. So, he hands it over to me, and I can open it up for him. Show him how to open it up. And. Uh, there we go, get it open, and uh, then he gets back to f finishing screwing the uh, these pieces in here, and we end this here for Sunday night here uh, with these boards right here, and uh, well, I guess this is still still is Sunday night here, so uh, yeah, and then we come back here on Tuesday night. Uh, so Tuesday night we come back out here. Tuesday evening here. This is uh, I guess 6:30 something something like that, or 6:37 p.m. And we've got a few rows here. So I'm out here now. I've got a couple of couple of boards here that I'm uh, old boards here. And I'm taking trying to figure out. I'm just like, oh, we're going to end up having to rip one. Apparently I wasn't laying the boards out properly here to, to do it. So I, I said, well, gosh, okay, we're going to end up having to rip one here at the end. But uh, when we didn't actually lay boards out and put it in place, we didn't have to rip anything. We were actually exactly right on, well, off an eighth of an inch. I ended up with an eighth of an inch gap, extra eighth of an inch gap in one place. So it's like, oh well. So I, you know, spread it out with the sixteenth here and a sixteenth there. A little bit extra gap. Uh, no big deal. It's a deck. It's got gaps. Uh, but... Uh, we get the here we have uh, I think the last three rows I think it is we just yeah we just marked uh, we just put the boards they're full 16 inch board 16 foot boards and we just lay them down and mark from uh, mark the mark both ends and uh, so we got yeah he's marking a board there for me to cut put it in place. We marked out of the board here, cut me, cut, put it in place, and then we put uh, two new, two more boards here. We put these in place here, and we're like, okay, we got one exact, exactly one board to go. Yeah, he's marking those, and we get one more board here, and we get this one in place. We mark it, and because uh, this, this we want to make sure that everything is now laid up this, to this one here because it is right on the edge and uh, so we get it cut get it marked cut flips her over and uh, we get it in place there and then so and making sure that everything's where it's supposed to go so we get the next ones here get them marked get them cut Put them in place. And the next one marked. Get it cut. Get it in place. There we go. They're all in place now. So we have all the decking in place, and it's now just a matter of putting in the deck screws. So I'm over there, off the end down there, taking reaching over my head there to take and put the deck screws into the uh, into that 
in the last board there. So, so this running along the edge, and so I'm then screwing over here on the end here, uh, getting as much as I can where I can reach, which is not very much there. I just So I did get that last board all all screwed down here, so he doesn't have to do it. Then he's got four or five rows he's got to um, put together. He's got to get screws in across four or five rows something there. I don't remember how many he's got to go, but this is uh, we finished this here up on uh, Tuesday evening here to get the um, uh, to get uh, this 20 by 28 deck area completed here. I didn't realize how dark it was here whenever we're taking film of this here in the shade here at uh, 7.38 p.m. It is uh, it's getting to be a little bit uh, dark to, dark here and uh, I probably should get some lights out here for when we're working out here this late here because it's um, not showing very well here in the camera here uh, but that's okay. Uh, we're almost finished with the the deck here. I've got uh, uh, probably a couple more weeks of work that's going to be done before the deck is completed here. Because uh, this, while this could could have easily been done in you know just a couple of days, we're only working a couple of hours, a few days a week. So uh, I think we're averaging like four hours on Saturday and three hours on Sunday and uh, maybe another six hours, five to six hours through the week. So, I mean, we're getting, we're, we're doing between eight and 12 hours a week of actual work here uh, on, uh, uh, on the deck here, if, we're de if, if we get that many hours in. Uh, so the weather does take and hinder us sometimes. Um, and uh, so, but yeah, we finished up this year on, uh, Tuesday evening here we get finished with this part of the deck here and uh, continue on later on okay so today we're out here we want to put some pieces in here try to get these these twists out of these here boards here these boards here have got some serious twists from being set here unsecured only just just sitting here for this time being here without being fully secured in there properly so we're going to get some uh, pieces in here that's going to square this here up here because we got to get this squared up here before we put the board on it here to get before we get there here we got a couple here that are really bad so we're going to take and put some parts some pieces in here that was going to pull them together here hopefully get these here twist straightened up here so that's what we're doing now so I pulled out um, some two by sixes here that Found some uh, two by sixes that we had uh, not used, and uh, a couple of bowed. So one that's actually got a bad bow in it, so we use it for cutting it in here. So these are all 14 and a half inch. Here I am trying to muscle it over uh, to get it um, uh, straightened up here. So realize that it's pushing this other one here. So we didn't put in another. We put in a block back here behind this here to take and pull that. That uh, that final joint that joist into where it's supposed to. Then I think put up a board. So that's got a bit of a twist here, and he, I put up a board on it there, and uh, twist it into uh, twist it vertical here. And we get these uh, spacers here in the uh, in between here, and this helps us to get the joist straight here. Um, that's what happens whenever the uh, um, joist set there just held on only by hurricane ties over for a year through all the weather and sun and wind uh, sun and water and rain and everything they just can't start twisting in fact it twisted uh, uh, some of them twisted so so hard that uh, that the, it actually bent the hurricane ties that are used the, the Simpson strong ties that are used to hold in place it actually bent them uh, so when we can straighten them all out here uh, it helped a uh, it, it, it it took a little bit of work so um, looks apparently we're working over on this other side here and I've got all I've got this year is the camera point in here where I'm doing the cutting here 
which is not uh, very helpful here. I think I do get over here and take just the camera here uh, in just a second here. Yeah, there you go. I got the camera just here. So we're getting the, the these uh, these 14 and a half inch because these these are 16 inch on centers. So we've got 14 and a half inch board in there, and uh, see there this in here is like we take pull the twist out of it, and it pulls the screws through. It's so much so twisted here, so yeah, it's like okay, we just got to move in to get the next uh, the next block in, so we need so the twist. So he gets up there and says, "Well, I'm taking so this is going to take so." Yeah, so we go to put this here. He gets the screws in. This one board here still stayed a little bit twisted even after we got everything done, but it was it was way closer to what it was originally. Uh, that thing had a had a bad twist in it. So we had we go through here and uh, pull out all these twists and all this here. So this in here you can see here's got a bad twist here that I I just put the board there and I just use that there to give some leverage here pull the twist and once, once we get it screwed in there uh, and get it down into place here I probably should have went another put another board in there I probably yeah probably might just go back and do that later on and add another board in there so I had to move the stuff off the on the deck up there because I thought we were going to have to do something with the end end of the boards here and everything uh, water to look at it, and then I can get over there and I can realize that no, no, everything is perfectly fine, it, exactly as it, is, as it is. But yeah, I do, I did forget to put a block there on the next one over, so I do need to get out there and put another block there. Uh, it's okay. Uh, we did get, uh, did get those, um, uh, get those, uh, uh, twist, the twist out of those are quite a bit there, so it made it so much better when we didn't put on the, uh, um, yeah, so I was sitting, making sure we were we we're getting uh, the the string line to where these all all these uh, joists have to be cut to the right length here, so that we're uh, um, uh, ended up with uh, everything here for the because I've got to cut the I cut them back so that the uh, um, the rim joist uh, goes in. When I put the rim joist in here, it's uh, it's the right length because. Uh, um, when we take, started building this here deck here, I was given instructions to my nephew and uh, uh, and my grandson here and another grandson. And sometimes instructions get mis misinterpreted, and sometimes my ideas are not exactly right. But uh, so we had to take and do. I was like, oh yeah. Well, also too, we had the the issue with the fact that we took this apart before I put the hot tub in here so everything had to be adjusted for the hot tub so uh, so we got that all in place on that board we got another board over on the other section there as well we got uh, uh, on the face of it another rim joist on it as well um, and uh, so now we're going to, we're now we're putting down the uh, joist tape on, across all those uh, those uh, blocks there and then we'll put joist tape across uh, on the rim joist here and uh, so we got to go over and we got to do it over on the other side here too we got to do the same thing here we're going to put put uh, tape on those blocks and on the rim joist and uh, so it was where everything works so much better whenever you got uh, straight joists that are not twisted. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it's so much, so much better here. So now we go, we got finished with all this here. Now it's now we've got to work on the uh, the lower deck lower deck part where the hot tub's going to go here. So uh, we're taking get we got to get a string for it as well. And there we go. So we got. Uh, get it all the stuff we were working on now for there we'll be using it that for our workbench so get a string here for these has got to be cut here as well uh, and uh, we've got to put some spacers in here too to keep these here from twisting they got a little bit of twist as well so we got to we got the spacers in here uh, and uh, so we get this get these cut to the right length here where they 
going go in here and I went over and uh, cut out all the all the uh, decking here so, uh, that's going to go in here. I just take and cut the 16 footers into uh, in half to right at, right at approximately 8 foot long so they're running a little bit long I'll go back later and put a string line down and cut a straight line there um, to to make them straight because it just it, it was just so much so much easier just to take and lay, uh, drop them in place here and uh, so and then they can get them in there and it's like oh yeah we still got to put down those uh, those blocks so got to stack up stack it up back here but at least we got those out of the way here during the hot sun here so uh, this is before lunch we decided to take a break here for this year um, and we come back after lunch here we got uh, Caleb our friend a friend Caleb comes over and he's over here giving us a hand here so we're putting in the uh, I'm out there cutting the the spacer blocks here so they can go in there and they're screwing them in place and uh, cut once measure twice right uh, except for I cut 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 measure once cut twice on a couple of things <laughs> actually at least only and on only one of them actually I think you're supposed to be 14 and a half inches and I somehow did one of them at 13 and a half inches and well I needed one at 11 and a half, so I used that 13 and a half inch and cut it down to 11 and a half. It is what it is, you know. So we get uh, all these blocks in here, uh, and uh, after we get all the blocks in, then we can put some joist tape on top of them as well. Um, uh, so yeah, there we go. We got all the blocks in there, and uh, that actually helped. Uh, we had. Two of those boards were starting to twist a little bit here, and I want because the hot tub's going to be setting on this here. Is this year definitely cannot twist and roll roll around, so this year needed to be sturdy, a lot sturdier here. And uh, so we got got the uh, um, get the uh, um, those down, and then we just can pull out the uh, decking here and drop the decking back down in place here, kind of. Square it up a little, little bit there, just you know, so that we have a, and we make sure see where we're at the back here, and you know, make sure that we are at least we are at least vertical with the back here, uh, the back. So the, the when the deck is when the hot tub set down there, we are we can go as flush back as we need to go, and uh, then uh, we just take and go and start screwing the deck now. And unfortunately, um, our camera ran out of tape. I ran out of tape. Ran out of uh, SSD space. <laughs> Not realizing it, I uh, made a quick video here shortly here to, uh, about this. Well, I forgot to turn on the camera here so that we can get the next step here. And that this was uh, working on the deck part here for where the hot tub goes. So. This is, if I can get it here, there we go. There's all the decking done for the hot tub. I forgot to turn on the battery after we took a quick break. So there it is complete. And now we got to start working on the steps that are go down over there. There's going to be a set of stairs come down there between the deck and the uh, AC condenser unit. So that's our next step, and uh, we'll be back shortly. So here I am cutting out the stringers. Um, this wood is god awful wet, and it's just it's a pain. I've got a five amp hour battery here, and uh, I can't even cut the full stringer here with this. Here it's constantly binding up the the saw. It's kind of constantly being the uh, the wood being wet it's constantly binding up and I'm having to go back and re um, uh, restart my cuts and everything so it's it's just it's a real pain uh, but we get uh, do finally get uh, the, the, the cut here once we get it cut then uh, I go and uh, use a handsaw and uh, 
finish up the uh, the cuts. Um, so all right here, yeah, here we go. Finish the, the finish of the cuts here for the stringer here with the handsaw to get into the corner here. So it only, it only takes a second here to get it done. And then we go and mark out for the other two stringers here. We mark the other two stringers and uh, we uh, try to uh, cut out another stringer and it was just way too much to get after cutting out the second stringer. So we're going to end part five here. We've got two of the stringers cut. They are going to go to right here. I have stairs come down right here. And uh, that's going to go here. So that's where we're going to start part six with. So thanks uh, for watching. Please subscribe. Click the notification bell if you want. I'm not going to force anybody to do anything. But uh, hope you enjoyed the video so far.